So team of the year is not out yet. Neither is the voting poll out yet for team of the year. So I want to go ahead and create my own team of the year predictions earlier than they actually come out with their own like system, right? Because you know what? I think we got it, boys. So Joe Burrow is our quarterback. Keep in mind that all these players will be 96, 97s, uh, with specialist positions being 95. Specialist positions include kick, punt, returner, um, and also th I think third down back, and I want to say kicker and punter. Joe Burrow. Absolute God tier quarterback, one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, if not the best quarterback in the NFL. And this 97 overall is going to look so freaking sweet. Let's be honest. This 97 overall, Joe Burrow is going to be absolutely broken. He already has field general, so he's most likely going to be a golden ticket in the future after he gets this card. Now, the only stipulation is if he wins an award or going to win an award. Or the Super Bowl. Now, obviously, the Team of the Year promo is way before the Super Bowl. It's around two weeks before the Super Bowl. Well, technically, a week before the Super Bowl is the final casting. But when it comes to the actual like voting, that usually comes around the 20th. And that is two weeks before the Super Bowl. And then, obviously, the final players come out on the 26th, which is a week before the Super Bowl. So, unless the Bengals are in the Super Bowl, which is very possible this year... Hopefully, we see a Joe Burrow card with this release of Team of the Year. That's number one, right? Let me go for number two here. Number two is going to be running back. And I think the guy that a lot of people are honestly agreeing with is Josh Jacobs because he's not going to get a he's not going to get a Super Bowl card. He's not even in the playoffs. He's not getting a playoff card. That's number two. He's also not going to receive any honor rewards. So he is one of the best running backs of this year. A very surprising best running back of the year. I don't think anyone expects going into this year that that Raiders offense would produce the best running back, but rather produce the best wide receiver. But that was not the case. They produced the best running back. So we do have Josh Jacobs right here. Running back number two from your Cleveland Brownies. Nick Chubb, another amazing, pretty much reason why the Browns are at or, or where they're at record wise is because of this man right here who should be an absolute monster when he gets a 96, 97 overall card. My guess is a quarterback will get a 97. The rest of these will get 96s. Wide receiver one. Who else? Who else but Jay Jettis? Again, like I said, another chance that he does receive an NFL Honors card. He could also receive a Super Bowl card if the Vikings go to the Super Bowl. But my guess is he's going to get Team of the Year nonetheless. And this card's going to look absolutely freaking God tier. Number two receiver. And my nose is absolutely dying in this video, guys. I apologize for that. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera off because my nose is dying. Stephon Diggs. 92 overall right now, but we'll probably get a 96 overall in the near future when he does get his team of the year card. Wide receiver three. <clears throat> I think this one is pretty obvious too. Tyreek Cheetah Hill. Man's an absolute goon. Fullback. It's pretty much the same player it always is. Um, we don't really have too many good fullbacks in the NFL. Obviously, yes, we do have um, Kyle Uzcheck of the 49ers, but I, it's usually Patrick Ricard who gets this card. Um, it just is what it is, so we're probably going to be receiving this card in some capacity. Um, tight end. So, Kelsey already has a really good card, so it can't be Kelsey. Kittle didn't have really that good of a season because of, you know, injuries to the quarterback position for the 49ers. So, it's most likely going to be Mark Andrews of the Baltimore Ravens, which, you know, I'm very biased here because I am a Ravens fan. So, absolutely love to see Mark Andrews get a card here. Offensive line, right tackle, who I believe just got hurt in the one of the re most recent Eagles games, Lane Johnson. Um, right guard, let's go with Zach Martin. Center now there's a lot of good centers out there, but and I'm being very biased here But I do believe Tyler Lindenbaum actually played a really freaking amazing job this year 
at center, especially for a rookie in an offense that was kind of very difficult to learn, especially with the fact that we had injuries. I think he really did a good job of solidifying that center position. Left guard, Joe Pintonio coming in right here at his 87, which of course would be upgraded to a 96 overall card. Our last player we have here is going to go ahead and be Trent Williams, 92 overall left tackle, who is now going to be a 96 overall left tackle after this update. All right, defense, free safety. Again, unless the Steelers go to the Super Bowl, which is possible because they could make the playoffs, Mika Fitzpatrick comes in at a 92 overall. Uh, 92 overall, 93 overall right now, and we go up to a 96 overall after the update. Next guy here is going to go ahead and be Harrison Smith, 88 overall, which again would go up to a 96. Uh, let us have linebackers. I have two of these actually. Um, Matthew Judon, who's been having what arguably would be the best season of a linebacker um, for right now. Uh, which is absolutely crazy because he was an ex-Baltimore Raven. And then obviously the 11 from heaven, Mika Parsons. 93 overall, Mika Parsons could possibly also receive a card with this update. Um, middle linebackers, I have Demario Davis. I have um, Levante David. And finally, I have... Fred Warner. Now, could Roquan, Roquan Smith get a card with this update? Absolutely. Will he? I don't know. It really depends on what EA Sports wants to do. It's possible, but I'm not. I'm not going to 100 go behind that idea. Right outside linebacker, I want Preston Smith because there's a lot of good linebackers in the NFL, but they kind of identify as middle linebackers. Which is really awkward because even guys that were natural right outside linebackers actually identify as middle linebackers, which is really awkward when it comes to trying to predict who's going to get a card. Um, so I can even put Roquan Smith at right outside linebacker. He's a middle linebacker, but he plays pretty much everything on this Ravens defense at this point. Cornerbacks, JC Jackson. Should be receiving a brand new card with this Team of the Year update. Let's be honest, one of the best cornerbacks of this year is Big Play Slay of the Philadelphia Eagles. He's having a fantastic season right here. Next guy, Patrick Chetain the second. Finally, I think we all can guess this guy, Sauce Gardner. Absolute monster year so far for Sars Gardner. Uh, really amazing rookie um, campaign at this moment in time. And again, like I said, you know, this is not surprising at all. He was known as a shutdown corner in college. He was known as a guy that you just don't throw the ball on. And he is showing that same concept in the NFL level, which is not something you usually see. So shout out to him for that. Right end. Best right end in football right now, Nick Bosa. 91 overall is his best card in the game, which is really highly surprising. Left end, Brian Burns. D tackle, Fletcher. Fletcher. I said his last name because I don't want to get demonetized by YouTube. Fletcher. And finally, I don't know why I chose this guy. Tyson. Apparently, Tyson's been having a good season. Let me see what his, his actual stats are. Because I'm surprised he doesn't have a better card. Let me see what his stats are currently. He has um, half a sack. Why did I select this guy? Well, this might have been a mistake for the second D tackle. Oh, no. This is... um. I know why I selected him. I selected him because, according to Pro Football Focus, he's like a top five D tackle. I couldn't think of a second D tackle to go with. And according to Pro Football Focus, he's like a top five D tackle. Yeah, he, um, well, for Pro Football Network, he is currently ranked 
actually, I think he's ranked like top 10 or something, which I, I don't know how because he really has not done much this year. So we're going to change this one on the fly, guys. And we got to go with someone who is a D tackle. Quinton Williams already has a really good card in the game. So we are going to go with, let's go to players. Simmons already has a card in the game, bro. How does he already have a card in the game? All right. Every good D tackle has a card in the game. This is going to be awkward. Um, all right. We're just going to keep going, boys. Because I don't know why. I, for some reason, I, I didn't even look at what card he had currently. I was just like, oh, yeah. We're just going to go with him. He's one of the best in the league. Did not even look at his stats. Probably should have looked at his stats because I did not realize how... I mean, he's not bad, but he's pretty okay. Oh, I don't think this guy's going to get a card. The Green Bay Packers, Kenny Clark. It's possible. I don't think he's, he hasn't had that great of a season. The fourth Buckner would probably be a more likely choice. But he only has a 95, bro. EA Sports is actually doing pretty good at D-Tackles. I got to give EA Sports credit here. They're giving us every d uh, Grady Jarrett could possibly get the card. Um, They're doing a really good job of giving us cards... Every player who needs to call a call to D-Tackle, they have covered so far. Grady Jarrett. Guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.